What is going on? I've been smashing watermelons. Going on field trips. Doing mousetrap agility drills. Wind tunnel. Lots of training. Deadlift is still stuck, but it's not getting worse. Front squat's doing well. Trap bar deadlift is doing well. The framing in the gym is done. Next steps are going to be electrical and drywall. When the electrical and drywall are done, that's the point where we can take the machines off the pallets and remove the plastic wrappings off of them so that they can be in their final resting spots. Till then, we're still having to move all the machines around here every night. So that in the morning the workers who have to do things in here can work or can work can do the work they need to do again the equipment showed up before the building was finished because of building delays it's getting to the point where i have to start thinking about the gym layout because i know everything crammed in the center of the room isn't the most functional thing in the world wait is that a cat that's a cat hey buddy Jim Cat, you gonna put these dumbbells back? Put these dumbbells back in this rack? Doesn't really help because they're just gonna have to be moved again. The HVAC system, we finally got the spiral ducting. All right, so it's gonna be pretty cool when this fan is installed. We are going to have a humongous fan. The installer did not get very far. This whole process has been an extreme example of what bad gym layout is. You can't access equipment. It's it's just crammed together. There's no way you're bench pressing here. Good luck finding a dumbbell. Pretty sure that's a bench underneath that. There's no way you're gonna be able to even use the mono lift with all this crap underneath it because even though you're not having to walk out the squat, you still can't squat with stuff in the mono lift. That looks like a sissy squat on top of a bunch of boxes. Cable crossover, well, if you can actually see, there is a cable crossover here uh, buried somewhere. This is a blanket on top of a machine. Can you guess what machine this is? Somewhere in here is a machine that you can actually use without bumping into another machine. Bicep curl, I could probably do some of that. Suffice to say, the gym is not very functional this way. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating that the new gym isn't done. We're a work in progress. We are unfinished. This is life. This is building. This is progressing. This is the growth stage. This is the point where I stop talking and I go find some people to work out with. Doing a workout from my program, The Groundbreaker. We're gonna be doing the upper body bodybuilding. It's a beach body workout. Every week it's conjugated, so every week's different. We're gonna modify it. So we're gonna use machines instead of the free weights that are in this program. And by we, I mean Travis. So we'll be working out. Travis actually created this program with me. We did this together, so we did it last year around this time. And Randy is gonna be doing this workout with us as well. Randy! <laughs> Just do a little light maintenance check of your <laughs> machines here. Is it working? Everything's up to par. All right. But nothing okay, is good. in the right spot, is it? Not yet. Okay. It's yeah. a work in progress. This is a Panada rear delt back deltoids. It's rear delts without holding on to anything. Do you change your uh, grip to hit the rear delt in any way? Change the grip. Change There's your grip? To grip on The orientation of what your hands. It bends the elbows in the way back. <laughs> this is a standing multi flight machine. It's Ooh, basically. Let's see it. This is one of my top three machines in this gym. This is easily one of my favorite things. Like dumbbell ladder raises, but it's got a kind of like a better contraction in my opinion, and it saves your traps. They can really dial in shoulders. So. This feels so good. Let's widen up the frame a bit. Hold on. Is that angle? Okay, this is wait. a bodybuilder look where they do the, okay, the fisheye lens. I like that my arms are about symmetrical instead of me doing one arm all wonky while the other one's even. Get back here to film Randy doing this from a different angle. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it's got like gas assisted everything. These cool red knobs that do things. So one of the things that we uh, are contemplating now because we've had several unexpected changes with the gym layout oh, as far yeah. as fans and stairwells is how are we gonna arrange all this equipment and how, you know, what's gonna guide that arrangement? Well, this is not gonna be on two deadlift platforms. That's for sure. 
<laughs> I want the gym layout to be at a point to where you don't have to walk across the gym to get to the next exercise. You know, let me promote another one of my programs, the Builder here. This one teaches you how to, how to have good training habits. It's a really cool book. It's, it's good for advanced people who need, uh, who are burnt out, who need a little more motivation. It's good for beginners who just need to kind of get back into things. You need a nice kick in the right direction. But one of the things I'm talking about in this is like a gauntlet workout, for example, you're, you're gonna wanna set everything up ahead of time so it's really convenient and nearby. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make this jump, like come together in a way where everything is kind of convenient and nearby for any type of workout you would normally do. I'd imagine that I'm not gonna be doing bicep calf superset. If you do that, um, good I luck. Know, <laughs> good luck, I don't know who you are. So, so would you separate it by like upper body, lower body splits, bodybuilding versus powerlifting versus strongman? I think, I mean, that's what I'm kind of trying to figure a out. A little bit yeah. of all the above? I think there's a lot of common sense. Don't, don't fix it if it's not broken in that case. Yeah, a little bit of above. I definitely think there's certain things that just, Everyone does it that way for a reason. I think the user of this gym over here is going to do a hybrid of most of those activities most days. Well, sure, I think sure. Like a, a good heavy lift area, powerlifting area, and where chalk can just go everywhere. Stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> and w with my gym, the most fun I have is looking at it and being like, "All right, where can I move things to be a little bit more excited about my gym today?" Yeah. So never being like, "Oh, this is where this is permanently." But having fun moving it around. Uh, and making it work best for you for that month or that training period. I know you do different periodizations. Yeah. So you switch so. by, you sort of rearrange your gym at your home by what you're doing. Yeah, I try to make it more fun for whatever goal is next. What about you, Randy? What's what's your philosophy on gym layouts? I'm a traditionalist, so I kind of like to see things consolidate area. All the buys in one side, uh -huh. all the free weights on the other, all the barbell bench presses on, on one hand. So yeah. it's kind of like... You already know if every, where everything sets, sets place in the map of the gym, mm -hmm. you can kind of start building away from there your programming. I like structure, I like things that are, you know, flows. Well, here's that, one thing insane. that I think we can both agree on, Randy. I don't think we're going to put a vertical leg press in front of the mirrors, are we? No, no one's going to see that. All right. We have a selectorized deltoid press. Ooh. This was a gamble. I didn't know how I was going to feel when I bought it. I just thought it'd be nice to have one shoulder machine where you could pick the pin, and I picked this one. Oh, it's got a see, see the uh, see the path it takes. Yeah. Oh. Did you say praise? Yeah. <laughs> praise! I'm gonna steal it just now. We're gonna superset this by uh, filming. See, I don't think the final resting spot for this machine is gonna be next to the monolift, because right between the monolift and the ten foot rack. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> the next exercise that we're doing is actually going to be a preacher curl right here. Right here. Yeah, she's, you're standing <laughs> on it. And uh, you're really close to me right now. Well, Step back and show the preacher curl, Sam. No. Sam, like, I'm just gonna show like your that, that was kind of like a I'm cue. I'm going to show your pores. <laughs> like, that was kind of like a cue. Let me show the blackheads on your nose. Yeah, all right, here, here we go. All right. It is on a pallet, and it's on a pallet jack. Did anyone want to take me for a ride real yeah, quick? Pulling. It's like a magic carpet ride, but it's like a magic yeah. pallet ride. There we go. I'm filling my pulling exercise of the day. Yep. There you are. Super set, super set delta. Bye. Pulling. There we go. Yeah, see ya. Keep going. Who said building biceps never got you anywhere in life? <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, let's get on this now. Yes, Travis. Uh, when are we going to be getting lights in here? Yes. Uh, the electrician's over there. <gasps> there with, they are. With his lead tech and your mom. So electricity gets put in here starting next week which doesn't mean hell yeah. you know hell yeah's right That's a nice yeah day. we need to get that uh completely unnatural light you're not talking about half natty you're talking about like full-blown steroid lighting you know what i mean like you <laughs> very you're, fitting you're, here very fit. <laughs> you know i'm wondering if some of these bodybuilders just accidentally get their lighting right without actually yeah. knowing what they're doing you know a little literature review finds some videos of some bodybuilders with good good lighting does anybody videos. in the youtube audience know anybody who's good yeah, if you guys, right. if you guys yeah. know anyone who has instructions on how to do bodybuilding lighting with actual, like, backed up reasons why it works, distance, lumens, uh, all yeah, that stuff, detailed specs. all the detailed uh, specs, yeah. Yeah, just good. let me know because we're going to need it. I don't know if we need it. We just want it. We just want it. Kind of like a lot of the other things nice in here, thing yeah. Have. Randy, I mean, for example, biceps, Randy. Yes, sir. You don't need them. We need biceps. <laughs> oh. Or finish your sentence. <laughs> we 
we need my. He already determined there's a need for them. I think Randy finished the sentence for me. We we need. There biceps. you go. You need biceps for everything. I really, I really think we should probably incorporate uh, Cat Super Highway. Get a uh, consult from Jackson Galaxy. <laughs> 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 we went from bodybuilding lighting to Cat Super Highway. Oh, With Jackson yeah. Galaxy. <laughs> you guys know who Jackson Galaxy is? No, who is that? If I walked up to you and called you idiot, then that might affect our relationship. He's like a, he's like the Caesar Milan of cats, you know, is like he really? the dog, he's like the cat whisperer. <laughs> Never heard of that. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I want you to turn it into the <laughs> ultimate Cat Super Highway. <laughs> Damn, oh. you going way too late. Now that I'm toasted. <laughs> For some spider curls? Spider curls. Spider curls, you kind of go behind the head on these. So it's yeah. Kind of like, like you're putting, uh, taking off a hoodie. It's not even a big way to do this. So but don't your biceps get so pumped that you can't even touch your head anymore? True. Unless you raise it? Yep. Kind of like that. All right. See so your bicep veins. Oh, shit. Here we go. Okay. Next step is. Tricep extensions. Push okay. Push yeah. Yeah, okay. I was about yeah. to say, what are you thinking about right now? Is this annoying that I'm asking you questions in mid set? No, my ability to answer them might be mildly oh, yeah. annoying. Oh, okay. I, I was about to say, if, if it wasn't annoying, I think you'd be lying to me. That's why I'm asking you these. I'll never lie to you, Sam. Oh, right, I know. I know. Right, he's right here in the workout. Yes. This is cable tricep. You're going to do it. He's got it. I stopped counting when the camera's on. Like, uh, <laughs> just don't stop till they're done filming. All of a sudden, I'm like, ah, this isn't going to work. There like we go. Leaning, do you like leaning into the pads on triceps? Because I, I never really I use it. I lean butt. forward. Okay, you yeah. lean forward. Kind of like doing a strict curl yeah. version. I put my butt into the pad, though. You like putting your butt into it? Yeah. Okay, because I've never had this. Yeah, I'm not I back either. here. <laughs> 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 What's up? You're still here? Yeah, I'm looking over there. Did you my sound system? Oh, yeah. yeah Sweet. Is. Sweet sound system. <laughs> and uh, I guess we got to might be demonetized because of the No, music? it's royalty free. Oh, okay. Uh, I got you covered. We got it good now. I got to uh, in the background. The vertical leg press was going to go where my sound system goes. Yeah. And, uh, it, it's not going to fit now because that's taking up that space, that little boom box. Hey, Corey, come over here real quick. Corey's my electrician, and uh, you're going to install the sound system, right? We are. Yeah, hey, here, you want to get a set in? Oh, you got nothing. Yeah, you got to do 12. <laughs> oh, I got to do 12. You got to do 12. We'll keep your elbows in. Get close to your side. Keep them right there. There we go. Yeah. This. There you go. You can kind of shoot your legs out a little bit. Lean into it. There you go. A little easier. There you go. Electrician, see triceps? Yeah, they do? Every day of my life. Every day. Every day of his life. Have you installed sound systems before? Yeah. What do you think of this sound system? <laughs> my, do you want money? <laughs> Damn, you're going hard, man. How many reps are you going to do? I said 12. I think you did 12. Did I? Yeah. Okay. He's an electrician. He does this every day. He only starts counting when it gets hard. That's the yeah. Got, uh, Corey's going to install my sound system. Yeah, I yeah. think it's going to take up space over here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's going to pop out from the wall right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then everything's right here. It just kind of goes. If around. you want it there. Okay. I think I want it here. Yeah. We moved it from over next to the door over yeah. to here, and this is new for Corey. That makes okay. more sense there. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're just gonna keep changing the plan so you, so you just keep We're gonna drive running. you get, get, to get, madness. Get really frustrated with this. <laughs> and I'm you're good gonna, with that. And How did Juju Mufu it. die? He was electrocuted. Uh, yeah. Um, what are these? Okay, we got some more benches. Benches? All right, benches, yeah. Okay. We'll cover them back up, cover them yep. back up. We were doing uh, three sets of this on this chest fly machine. Yep. And then. We're gonna also add in one chest machine that we haven't done yet that's still covered in the back. Tell and, us about it. Well, we'll, we'll I'll tell, tell you about it when about we it. get there, but watch out, I'm gonna hit you here. No, you're I'm, gonna, not. I'm gonna hit you, no, I'm, gonna hit you. I'm gonna no, hit you, I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna no, hit you, I'm gonna hit you. How'd you do that? Whip. <laughs> that is an expensive camera, my dear. I would, uh, I don't feel very comfortable right now. <laughs> is it because of Get it out of my <laughs> face, Sam! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it. This is like the YouTube muscle workout, like when you're standing like this, you're talking, mostly filming from here up. Hi, let's let's get you at the right angle. Yeah, I just I cross my arms like this, squeeze everything together. You look really big when you're standing here. Pull your head back a little bit. You know? So is this like you know, um, Instagram uh, butt shots, except this yeah, is boulder yeah, shoulders like for, <laughs> for guys? Yeah, we're Okay. okay. 
This is why well, calves aren't important. You're never filming from the calf up on a... Oh, uh, you, you were caught on camera with that. Hey, I got calf machines here. There's some more. Oh, where'd you, it go? You, Ooh, that was a good one. I remember that. What? The, yeah, I remember it too. Yeah, where'd but it go? But how, ma how many times have you used them? You have a calf dungeon. I don't you have multiple calf That's machines. True. I have not seen you use that calf machine. I haven't seen any of your stuff. I don't even I know where it is anymore. Really That's true. true. Where did it go? Just let's uh, let's get on that last chest machine okay. and we'll unwrap it like it's Christmas. Sure. All right, so we're back. We are looking did, did you for. Swipe? Yes, I did. I swiped <laughs> right. All right, we're gonna find the decline chest press machine to finish off this workout. There's none of those. I, it might be over here. Sure. What about is that one? Decline chest press. That's it. We found it. Alright, here we go. Oh. Oh, you're bullshit. <laughs> no way, dude. So we have to act like this is authentic because Sam forgot to hit the record button. Alright, so I gotta So this is like surprise. the first time you've done this machine. It's wow, how does this feel? Man, let me let me what try it out. Going with? Okay, let me push this for the first time. I deserve it. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, I never had this stretch before. Ooh, that's brand new. You that's see pretty that? good for the yeah. first time. Still, still cracking about like a... Yeah, oh, we're all cracking yep. here. Snap, crackle, and pop. Let us know in the comment section, based on everything we've talked about, how would you lay out this gym? Or would you separate it based on traditional means, based on you know common sense, like, hey, you know, this, you're doing upper body here, lower body here, you know, uh, or would you just like, is there anything like, you know what, I think you should Aesthetics? do Aesthetics? Training Aesthetics, philosophy? Uh, logistics? Um, uh, all these different things, um, but you know, for right now, what we gotta do is we have to move all that stuff out of the corner over there because the electrician needs to be able to access the walls to install things. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna move stuff out of the way. Jim Cat, come here. Oh yes. Oh yeah. And about the cat super highway. Yeah. What do you think about this cat super highway we're gonna build? It's gonna be. Are you asking the cat or the audience? What do you think? All cat lovers. Yeah. All cat. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Um, I would not recommend building a cat super highway in your gym if you're allergic to cats. Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, you know, the video's still not over yet. We're still Nope. Filming. Fairly profound? Fairly yeah. profound, yeah. Bunch of good Profined? <laughs> Did you lose count? Refined and profound. Yeah. No, I'm counting the six. Okay. I told myself I'm not going to not count this time just because of the camera. What if, what if I just come a little bit closer? Uh, I forgot nope. what I'm at. Stop doing <laughs> it. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> okay. Let's move some equipment.